Hey everyone, Emily Roberts here with HealthyPlace.com. I write the blog, Building Self-Esteem. Today, I wanna to talk with you about self-care, self-care 101. I'm in my kitchen because this is where a lot of my self-care happens. But the reason why I wanna speak with this, well, about this today is because last week I wrote a blog about how you can increase self-care, but I wanna to explain to you a little bit more why it is so important. A lot of people don't use self-care because they're afraid that they're gonna be selfish or they're afraid it's gonna impede on their time with their family or at work. But if you don't take a few minutes or a few hours if possible each day to do you, you're only letting others down and you're depleting yourself and you're really impacting your self-esteem. So the reason this is true is because if you don't tune in, how do you know what you're feeling, right? How do you know what you need to do? It's not just stuff on your to-do list and believe me, I know a thing or two about to-do lists because this is mine right now, okay? But the thing is, is you really have to take some time to tune into what makes you like feel good, you know, and vibrate like in positive energy. Today I went to the market and I got some flowers, not because I necessarily needed them, but when I look at them, they make me feel happy. When I'm pruning them and when I'm putting them in their vases and I have them around, scattered around my apartment, I feel happier. This is an act of self-care because it improves my mood. When my mood's improved, I can help take care of others better. The other thing I want you to think about is this. This is my coffee. This was like a three or four dollar coffee. That's expensive, but it's for me. And when I'm going through this list of things I really don't wanna do, having something that I like, that I can sip on, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee, whether it be a bite of something I really enjoy, that makes this easier. Life isn't supposed to be all about taking care of other people or getting everything off this to-do list. It's about nourishing yourself and your soul and the things that really make you tick and the things that make you vibrate with positive energy. Otherwise, Everyone around you is miserable, you're miserable, and your self-esteem and confidence level is an all-time low, really, because how are you supposed to feel good about yourself when you don't even feel good in general, right? So I wanna give you a few more tips. There is a link below to my blog from last week, but also think about things that you can do on a daily basis that's just for you. Whether it be you're in the car, maybe you're having to do carpool or something like that, you can still have your favorite drink or listen to some of your favorite tunes and make it a little bit of an easier experience for you. You can pick up flowers like I did, here's some other ones, and make your apartment or your home feel a little bit nicer, prettier, cleaner for you, not for anybody else. Use the food in your fridge or buy something special just for you, not for everyone else in the household, that you can go to and say, this is mine, this feels good. Taking 10 minutes to take a shower, not because you have to, but because you want to, with your favorite oils or your favorite bath soaps, things that really ignite a happy feeling in you. These are important because they were, these things are important because they remind you to take care of you, okay? So please, you know, write below and tell me some of the ways that you practice self-care. I look forward to seeing them and hearing from you. You can also check me out on Facebook at theguidancegirl.com and at Twitter at guidancegirlem. Remember, self-care, it's important for you and it's important for everyone around you. Take good care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.